guys and gals, it's Mr. Flying Pig here on Flying Pig United. Sorry it's been a while, it has been a while, I haven't uploaded much over the last week, I've been ridiculously unwell, I still feel ridiculously unwell right now. Look at the state of me! Uh, not feeling good, but I've got me cappuccino, uh, you know, I'm feeling uh, pretty bad actually, pretty bad, I'm definitely injured at the moment, you know. Not as injured as Manchester United are right now, I don't know if you've seen the situation, but pretty much everyone's injured. Chris Morlin's injured, Phil Jones is injured, Paul Pogba's injured, from Zlatan suspended, Matter's now injured. Uh, uh, it would have been nice to have somebody like Schweinstein have to perhaps come in, wouldn't it, Jose? He's come out and said, you know, he's sorry about the way that he tripped Bastian Schweinstein at United and that he probably would have a place between now and the end of the season with all these games freaking coming up. You don't say, Jose! You don't say, pal! We've got seven games, or no, nine games in April. And, uh, and we've got injuries left, right and centre. So it does seem to be a bit of a piss poor decision to let Bastian Schweinsteiger go. Let alone not give him more opportunities in the side when he was here. You twat. But anyway, I'm here really to talk about the game later on today. West Brom are coming to Old Trafford. It's going to be an interesting game because they are a good side. You know, Tony Pulis gets his sides playing very well in terms of physically set pieces. They'll run and work more than any other team pretty much. And they're dangerous from set pieces, and they're also good at defending set pieces. That's the Tony Pudis side. Now, I'll tell you what's not good. It's Manchester United this season have been a bit shit at defending set pieces. And that is West Brom's strong point. Also, in terms of creating anything from set pieces, we've not been good. So I think West Brom are going to have a lot of joy defending against us today. Manchester United are going to have to make it count when we do get our chances. And we're going to have to put those chances in the back of the freaking net. Which isn't as easy as it seems because Zlatan Ibrahimovic is serving the final game of his bat. Can you see how freaking ill I am, you know? I feel real bad. <laughs> oh. So you have to forgive me, I'm drugged up to the nines. I'm freaking loving it, lads and lasses. <laughs> no, seriously though. I'm in absolute state right now. So, you know, apologies if this video is not making any sense whatsoever. Uh, but, yeah, United, we're <laughs> playing West Brom later. It's going to be a tough game. That's all I was trying to say. I was just trying to say that it's going to be difficult to break down this West Brom side. Uh, but we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to do that with a skeleton squad as well. Because, like I was saying, we've got a lot of injuries. I don't even know what the team is going to be out there today. It could be anything. But I would expect, uh, you know, Marouane Fellaini to be a key part of that midfield. <laughs> Um, seeing as Paul Pogba's out um, and Herrera's also suspended. I don't know if I mentioned that. So, you know, Bastian Schweinsteiger would have been a very useful player to have. You know, a world-class or a deep-lying playmaker there who's won the World Cup, who's played 500 times for Bayern Munich. Um, you know, he's, he's won pretty much everything there is. He would have been good to come in. Oh, and he's only 32. Okay, right. So he's still got a lot to offer. It pisses me off, man. It really does piss me off that we, don't, we didn't give Bastian more of an opportunity. We don't still have him now at this very important time going into the run-in between now and the end of the season. We've got some ridiculously tough fixtures this uh, this month. In amongst the nine games, we've got to play City, we've got to play Chelsea. There's some very tough games, and it would have been nice to have somebody as cultured and as experienced as Bastian Schweinsteiger to have in there as a backup. That's that's all we needed. We needed a backup for like a Carrick or, you know, and he, he's the perfect man for that. But no, he's gone. Bit of a shit decision, I reckon. We should have kept him to the end of the season. What I want to do now is grow this channel. So I need you guys to help me out by sharing these videos, by commenting on these videos, and just by interacting with these videos. It's much appreciated. Sorry I've been away a little while now, but I also need you guys to help me out because what I want to do with this channel is get other Manchester United fans involved, other football fans involved. I don't have the time to run a full-time channel, but I want to put out full-time content. I want you guys to help me. If you're passionate, if you're entertaining, if you're fun, uh, please do send me a video. Please send me a video, not any old time. I don't want no, uh, you know, fappening two type videos. I'm just talking about, you know, <laughs> I want a video of you expressing yourself, of you giving your points across. You can send them to me at mrflyingpighd at gmail.com. Um, if you want to send me previews, if you want to send me post-match reactions, not guaranteeing that I'm going to put them on the channel, of course, but if I watch them, if I think they're decent, you better bet your ass I'll put them on the channel. So please do get involved. Please do send them to me. If you've got any recommendations for United bloggers or football bloggers or anybody that you might want to see get involved in this channel, then get your thoughts in the comments section. And also badger them on Twitter and stuff as well. Get them involved with the Flying Pig United channel. So the Manchester United-West Brom game's coming a bit later 
today, three o'clock UK time. That's the kickoff. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a live stream match companion because I'm just really, <coughs> <coughs> really unwell. So I may or may not be doing a live stream match companion later for the West Brom game. It's kicking off at 3 p.m. UK time. I may do that. I may not do that. I don't know yet. I'm feeling physically unwell right now, but I am managing to talk. Which is good. I'm enjoying that, you know. Um, but have been particularly unwell the last couple of days. So uh, it's probably not a good idea for me to do a live stream match companions today. But normal service will be resumed for the next game, of course. But right now, I feel like I've just sat down and been forced to watch 10 games of Marouane for Lady playing centre mid. I feel sick to the stomach, man. Oh, but, you know, it could be worse. <coughs> yeah, the inter Come on, my son, get in there. The international break is finally over. Premier League football returns today. Manchester United take on West Brom. Tony Pulis's plunder is going to get plundered. At Old Trafford, make sure you tune in. It's going to be a good game, I'm sure. Hopefully Manchester United can get the job done. I'm a little bit wary about this game. You know, as I, as I mentioned earlier, they're a physical team. They work harder than anybody. They're very good defensively set piece-wise. They're very good... Attacking wise with the set pieces and Manchester United are, are not good at either of those things um, And it was always difficult coming up against the physical Tony Pulis side anyway So I expect it to be a very tough game But I do expect United to go on and win the game of course We've got enough even with our injuries to be able to do that I'm not sure who's going to be playing in the game I'm not even going to make a, a team selection suggestion But please do below get your thoughts and uh, comments in what you think the team will be today Bearing in mind we have all these poxy injuries of course um, get your thoughts and opinions in about the prediction of the game too. I'm going for 2-1 to Manchester United. I think it's going to be a tough game. I think we're going to see goals uh, from Marcus Rashford. I think we're going to see Wayne Rooney pop up and score one as well. I expect Wayne Rooney to actually come back into the fray in this game and play because of the injury issues we've got. I think Wayne Rooney's going to be starting the game. Don't know where, don't know how, don't know why, don't know when. Well, I do know when, 3 o'clock. <laughs> but Wayne Rooney's going to be playing. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to this video on Flying Pig United. If you enjoyed it, please smash a big, big old like on it. And also comment below with your thoughts and opinions and predictions for the game. I'm seriously, I'm going to go have a lem sip after my cappuccino. Any suggestions of how I can make myself feel better? I'm absolutely pilled up to the nines. Um, but, you know, I'm going to try and sort myself out between now and three o'clock to see if I can enjoy the game. See if I can perhaps do a bit of commentary on the game live stream. Who knows? Uh, but don't count your chickens, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get your hopes up, because look at the state of me. Anyway, thank you for watching, <laughs> this is Mr. Flying Pig on Flying Pig United. <coughs> I'm going to go chillax now, please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at Mr. Flying Pig at HD at the moment. I will be changing some of those to Flying Pig United, but you can catch me there if you want to send me some get well soon wishes or some abuse, which is probably more than likely, then you can always do that. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you later after the game. I will be doing a post-match reaction, most certainly for the Manchester United West Brom game. It just might be sort of like this. But in terms of the live match companion, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. But keep your eyes peeled. I may well surprise you. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is The Pig. Smash a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. I'll catch you very, very soon. Come on, United. Don't let me down. <laughs> Fantastic kid, you got a nervous disposition Stop this in a master tactician Disaster man on a mission I'm faster and faster your mum in all the wrong positions When I'm through with her, she need an obstetrician My boys are Memphis and daily, we the Dutch crew